it is the traveling Viking back again. And we have made it to Hue, to a scene that absolutely encapsulates just what Vietnam is truly about. We've got two guys out here in this little banana boat fishing. We've got motorbikes galore over on the bridge here. We've got the water feature. And we've got people sitting on tiny chairs next to the road having some sort of delicious food. This is just Vietnam for you, right here, in one small little scene. This is Hue. Hue used to be the capital. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and explore today. What is she selling here? Food? This? Melam. Clam? Melam. Melam. Ah, like a spring roll. Yeah? And then this goes on top. This comes on top. How do we eat this? Yes? Yeah? Yeah. I take seats over here. Okay. What do we have here? Some sorts of meat. Pork? I think so. What meat is this? <laughs> huh? Yes, chili. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We want the chili sauce, absolutely. Some chopsticks. Come on, uh, come on. Like this? Huh? There we go. Let's check out what this food is all about. Again, this has to be the tiniest table and chair system so far. Check that out. <laughs> so we're gonna try this. We've got some red stuff here. We've got what looks like some fried pancake kind of thing. Some I don't know what this is, some kind of meat. We've got the chili sauces over here. We've got these like basically like fresh spring rolls. And I guess we just try a little bit of everything the way she's put them there together with a piece of that meat just like this let's have a go oh falling off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right good i think if i'm not mistaken here check this out this it's a little prawn, like a baby prawn, almost like raw in here, just been marinated in something. These like, which I think are carrots, like shredded carrots. Then we've got this chili sauce over here. It's fresh. We've got some rice in there as well. It's almost like a mixture of a sushi and a spring roll, and then just caught up. Interesting. That's quality. That's very good. Just off the side of the road. You need a little tiny chair. Check that out. That's a great start to our little exploration of Hue. Let me finish this. And we'll get into Hue and some of the history of the place here. But this is one of the most interesting cities, locations of all Vietnam. But first I'll finish this delicious little snack. And let's get going. So over here, behind this beautiful, beautiful gate, you see this beautiful palace. This beautiful palace here is where the king used to live. King Nguyen, I think that's how you pronounce the Nguyen dynasty, which used to rule Vietnam from 1800 up until 1945, when the Second World War obviously ended. Under those days, Vietnam was also under French occupation, under the French Indochina Empire that ruled over the countries that nowadays are Vietnam and Laos and Cambodia. But the French led this Nguyen dynasty still be official heads of state of Vietnam in those times. As I say, from 1800s to 1945. And check out this beautiful, beautiful gate we have here. So much detail. Nowadays, we've got the Communist Party's flag hanging there as well. The Vietnamese Communist Party obviously rule the country today and there are no shortage of presence of communist flags all over the Vietnam and over here on the other side of the road over here we have what I've been told is one of the best markets here in the city to go ahead and find some beautiful Vietnamese 
uh, late evening or late afternoon snacks dinner we might call it so that's what we're gonna go ahead and try and do check out this market in here it's called Cho An Ku I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly but something like that man it's busy here now now that we've come up to one of the main roads in town check it out motorcycles everywhere oh somebody going the other way against traffic but we're gonna go and check out this market over here and explore some of the beautiful cuisine of Huey. The traffic here is mental. Basically, I figured out by now that the trick is literally to just walk. And somehow, people will take notice of you. But no, we have to cross the road. Let's try it. See how they just somehow stop for you just like we found out in Saigon it looks as if you can never ever cross here because there's doesn't even though there is a light no one really seems to care about that so you basically just have to trust yourself and walk right on hello how are you what do you sell here huh what is that what do you sell food <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Fascinated by my hair. <laughs> this is more what I'm looking for. Or oh, it's starting to look more what I'm looking for. Some kind of edible stuff. Let's go ahead. I think I hear the sound of cutlery. Oh. Fish? What fish? Tuna? Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Exactly. What fish is this? Tuna? Tuna. <laughs> I think it's tuna. Eh? It looks delicious. Ah. <laughs> What? Ah. It's your wife, isn't it? <laughs> He's saying I should marry her. Take her. <laughs> I'm already taken. What are you doing here? You're collecting rubbish. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and you? Are ah, you selling food? <laughs> what is that? What is that? I can try? It's good? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. One. One. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Uh huh. For me. One. Yes. Mokdo. <laughs> Mokdo mm -hmm. is one. I think so. Mokdo. Mokdo. And food? How you say food? Mokdo. Okay. So we have something wrapped in banana leaf. Banana, eh? Yeah. Lak chue. Lak chue. Lak chue. Banana. Banana. Okay. Banana. <laughs> so let's see what she's doing here. So inside we have what? What is this? Banana. Banana. Is that banana? We see. And it's good? It's delicious? Yes? I think that smile means yes. That means that smile means it's very good. I have no idea what I've ordered here. It looks... It looks like it might be raw fish. It looks like it could be glazed banana. I'm not sure. Vietnam, very good, yeah. Nice people. People are very nice here, as you see. Even though they don't understand anything. And I don't understand them. Ah, chili. Yeah, spicy. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it's some kind of what do we have here? 
vinegar. Let's see here. Ah, fish oil. Fish, fish, fish sauce. Yeah. Fish sauce, I think. Okay. We're ready. Hmm. This is interesting. What is this? Animal? What animal is this? Huh? I have no idea what I bought. What it is or how much it costs. But this is what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> That's a very strange. Yeah, travel. Now this is interesting. <laughs> Let's break out the, the translate. Yeah. I see here. What kind of meat is this? <laughs> look, look, look. You just need to speak into the microphone like this. Change? We need to change the video. Now. I was asking about this. <laughs> She's asking me. <laughs> <laughs> she was asking if I have a wife and no family. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bombs and pork. Shrimp and pork. Okay. Shrimp and pork. Okay, so it's pork meat. Very good. Pork meat, I see. So it's pork meat. With some kind of shrimp. So we'll be having the middle there. A shrimp. Oh, it's very strange. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> it's a very interesting meat. <laughs> My present seems to be the funniest thing of the day. <laughs> it's good? You like? You like? I want to try a lot of different food. So I'll go to the next place now and try some more food. What do you recommend? Handsome boy. Handsome boy. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Change to Vietnam. There we go. If you want to try many cuisine in Hue, you must do Dong Ba Market to have many Hue cuisine. Okay, Dong Ba. It's open now? Dong Ba is another market here in town. Let's try that. <laughs> like this? This one? Okay. Let's see how much it is. I gave her a 50 there, she took a 50. There we go. Okay, so it was... Yes, 20. 20, so it was 20. One, two, two. Two, okay. One, two, one. One. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How is it? Come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> so check it out here. All the ladies are selling vegetables as well. What is she selling here? Pork foot, ribs, beef steaks, full of flies. We've got eggs. <laughs> Very good. She's selling vegetables here, fruit and veg. And what are we selling over here? Ah, shrimps. 
She's selling shrimps here and little baby squids and little tiny anchovies or something. So that was an experience. <laughs> and that was not very good, that, food, that, uh, that meat. But, I mean, the ladies were fucking amazing. Hello, how are you? <laughs> what do you sell? Ah, sausages. Sausage. This is not something I can eat for now. <laughs> Hello. Huh? Exactly. You're selling eggs. Oh my god. Massive eggs. What is this? Duck egg? Duck? Hello. <laughs> Go fast. Huh? Ah, for you. <laughs> She's saying I should marry her. Or maybe her wife or her daughter or something. You have a good day. <laughs> All right, so yeah, as I'm trying to say, Hello. this was a wonderful place. Hello, Hi. how are you? <laughs> what is this? Mokdang. Mokdang. Uh, okay. <laughs> what does Mokdang mean? Okay. Dongba Market. Uh, Dongba. Uh, I need to go to Dongba Market. Uh, Illuminati. Uh, Triangle. Uh, oh, okay. Pass. <laughs> uh, there's a rubbish bin man. Okay, have a good day. <laughs> See you. So all the ladies are super nice here and interested. Hello again. How are you? Hello. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. The ground here. Look at this. It's all soggy. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Look at that. The ground here, you can just fall through. Watch out! <laughs> Watch out here! Ah. One cow! Yes! Dangba yes. Market! <laughs> the ladies are amazing here, good fun! I haven't got a clue what they're saying to me, and they haven't got a clue what I'm saying to them. But we all seem to have a lot of fun with each other. <laughs> Just banter. But I do understand what they're telling me though, is I need to go to some market called the Dongba Market. Which I've also seen on the maps, on Google Maps, when I was looking around on where to go. That's another market, more in the center of the, of the city of Hue. So, why don't we get ourselves a good trusty grab and head over to that Gongba market and see what we can find over in that way, since that is what we're recommended to do. For Dongba market? Yeah, okay. Oh, does this fit me? Can you hold? You hold? Okay. So I'm getting a helmet here. Does this fit me? Kind of. Yeah? Okay. Well, that'll have to do. Okay. It's like a little helmet and cap at the same time. Check it out. It is busy, busy, busy. Whilst we're driving, I can tell you a little bit about the history of Hue that we haven't touched upon so far. So back in the Vietnam War time, Hue was one of the cities with the most battles going on. One of the most fierce one of battles was here, the Battle of Hue. So the Battle of Hue started when it was the beginning of Tet. Tet is what they call the, uh, the Chinese New Year here in Vietnam. So the Northern Vietnamese troops with surprise attack on the morning of the Tet back in, I think it was 1975, if I'm not mistaken, and they would basically fight the Americans out of Hue. Over the next course of that month, they continued to fight back and forth, and the estimates I read online is about eight to 10,000 people died in those battles. Most of them Northern Vietnamese soldiers, as they overtook control of Hue and then subsequently the Americans launched back and gained control over Hue and obviously just about a hundred kilometers north outside of Hue is the DMC, the, demilita the demilitarized zone, the actual border that was the border between North Vietnam and South Vietnam which we're obviously going to head there after we're done here in Hue. All right so we've made it to the market Check it out, we've got lots of food stands here, already outside. Bun Bo. I've heard about this thing, Bun Bo Hue. Let's go ahead and try that. 
One boom ball, what? Okay. Sit down here yeah. or over there? Yeah. I want to see. This is Bumbo Hue? Like, yes, one please. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let's see how she makes it. Let's see how she makes it. So it's beef? Beef, right? Pork. The, this one is pork. These meatballs here. Okay. Okay. And the green one is what? One uh, more, one more, more um, pork. Uh, one more, more, more. Yes. More, more, more. Pork. Yes, please. What's going on here? Huh? Okay, 40. Okay. Okay, okay. Ah, for more. And what is this one? Liver. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. So I'm getting a special bigger bigger pieces of meat but then I have to pay 40 but that's no problem so it is 40 okay okay I sit down all right let's go ahead so Bumbo Hue is like the most famous dish of Hue it's the beef noodle soup so let's see what we have to work with here what we've got to work with here so if I understood correctly this is like a little pork meatball. Then, I don't know what this is, but it looks like liver or something like that. And then we've got a whole big uh, piece of beef here with, I think this is actually like a, a pork chop more so. We've got some green onions and some smaller pieces of meat there as well. Now, what we have to do is we've got to load it up with a bunch of lime, bunch of chili, and a bunch of all those meats. So let me do that first. And then we'll report back. This is what? Dragon fruit. No? Dragon fruit. Aloe vera. I don't know this lady. Huh? It's good? Let's try. She's saying it's 10,000. It was 10. 10. <laughs> she said 10. <laughs> she wants to get a better deal for you. <laughs> Let's give her 10. Let's try this. So it's aloe vera. No dragon fruit, just aloe vera. Huh? There we go. Which one is this? Is this good? Good? Let's try it. Yeah, that is aloe vera. I remember this taste from Ecuador. We had this in Ecuador. Not this exact thing, but it's like, can't really, and it mixed with that dragon fruit, like all those black seeds, it has to be dragon fruit seeds. That, or what's it called, pitaya, I think you call it as well. Something like that. I, use, I know it as dragon fruit from South America. I'm not sure what they call it over here, but it's actually really, really nice super refreshing it's kind of like a lemonade all right let me get back to my soup I was in the middle of squeezing my limes in here let's see another bunch of lime and then we always have to get this chili in here a good bunch of chili some of this one here as well and then we've got to dive in I think this is easier just to do with our chopsticks get a bunch of the leaves here as well coriander mint I think there's maybe parsley here just normal lettuce leaves and now we go ahead and just mix it up let's go this looks spectacular let's try this piece this thing that I think it's a liver it definitely has that definitely has that magnesium taste It's something, liver, heart, of some kind of animal. It has to be, it must be, like that's my best guess. This is better than the four that we tried in Saigon. Now let's try our meatball here. Mm. The meatball is good. Ah, the meatball is spectacular, wow. 
That's fantastic. Mm. Oh yeah, this is very good. Much better than the than the full that we tried in Saigon. And much better than that little <laughs> like steamed meat, sort of steamed pork meat that we had over at the other market. Let me finish this up. Let's see what else we can find. Go inside. I saw some interesting hats, some actual like caps that are for men and so on. Ah, oh, this is good. This is a proper heart full of a meal. Spicy. We've got spicy. We've got sour from the lime. We've got the, the beautiful mint leaves. We've got the beef, the pork, this liver thing. Ah, oh, yeah, this is very good. Spectacular. That was really, really good. I did not expect to think that that was very good, to be honest. When I saw that liver or whatever it was, I was instantly like, this can't be very good. But actually it was, surprisingly it was. Now, let's get inside the market itself here. We have a lot of probably fake jewelry here, sunglasses. You, Ray Ban. Ah, do I need sunglasses? You have some better ones than these ones. Which ones do you have? This one's all right. This? <laughs> no, not that one. That's for ladies. This? This is more something. Yeah, that's more my style, isn't it? That's good. But what about this one? Ah, that's probably better. Let's try this one. How much? Vietnam uh, right? 250 and this one okay this one ah what's that <laughs> that's about eight bucks or so i say what about 200,000 okay. yeah okay, okay. 200,000 okay. okay ah we get a little pouch to hold it in very good thank you are you husband and wife Couple? Husband, wife. Okay. How many years you're selling? How many years business? <laughs> they don't understand me. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. I actually need a new pair of sunglasses. Because the ones I got in India uh, have already pretty much died. And bloody hell, 200,000. 200, that is basically nothing. Check it out, we're on the inside of the market here. 200,000, that is what? That's about eight bucks here. More or less. Now let's see what else we can find. As I said, I saw someone selling hats here on the outside, but I'm thinking we can probably get a better price if we go to the inside. Some cabs and things with like the star, the, the flag of Vietnam. How much? 80,000. 80,000? Okay. How is it on the back? Ah, okay. You have a sand color as well. A black color. Okay, Yeah. These are the hats I saw before. Yellow? Yellow. That's red. Okay. <laughs> um, I think either of these two. Which one is the best? I already have like a green army color hat. Let's try this one. I can try? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. Bigger. Okay, this side. My head is too big. Okay, Got too much water in my head. And what's your best price? Huh? Best price? <laughs> Dong, best price. In Dong, huh? What did you say? 40,000? No, 80,000. 40? No, 80,000. Yeah, but what's your best price? 70. Okay. 70. Okay. Let's say uh, 40. No, 40, no. Mm, 55. 55, no. 70. Five, five. 70. No. You gotta 70. come meet me in the middle. <laughs> 70. Um, one, two, three. one or two or three. Just one. <laughs> Just one. Okay, 70. 70. Okay. Two, three? Two, three? No, no. <laughs> too many. Okay. <laughs> I only have one head. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How is it? Come, come on. Come on. Handsome. handsome. <laughs> You're very handsome. <laughs>
that's like the helmet I was wearing. Oh, this even got for the for your ponytail there for my man bun. But these like little caps here, they're basically motorbike helmet caps. I think if you crash with those, you're fucked. I don't think they'll protect you at all, but they look nice. <laughs> They'll protect you from the sun, but they won't protect you from the from the cars that you're going to smash into. Here's all the more typical sort of tourist stuff that they also sell in the market. Well, I guess this cab is quite on that sort of scale as well. But yeah, I don't know what else we should we should get here. Um, maybe some more food if we can find some more interesting food or some kind of drink. But I'm pretty full by now these kind of things over here oh my days what is this snails they eat snails here the French really left an impression then this one snail, snail. Yeah. how much is that how much how much done let's try it. let's try that I don't think I've ever tried snails before check it out it's like these big snails with garlic and chili and lemongrass mmm it's got smaller snails over here as well let's try one of this one 30,000 okay that sounds good to me that's gotta be exciting trying snails I've never tried that before Okay, I take a seat. Yeah. Take another seat and a tiny chair. Yo, Mia? Mia? What? You read my mind right there. What? Yes, please. One beer. One beer? Isn't that amazing? That lady literally read my mind. That was just what I was thinking. I think they call it Huda here. No, no, I just all the snails. Just snails. That should be fine. Just one snail. Snails are good. I already have free free foods today. Thank you. Where did that lady go with the beers? Here is our beer. Check it out. A lovely pint. Ice cold. You? Thank you. Buddha. Thank you very much. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I'm learning that pronunciation now. So the beer here in in Gui is called Huda. And I was told by a grab driver earlier today that Huda is supposedly stands for Gui and Denmark. Ku and Denmark. They call it Denmark like the French. Alright, here we go. Here's my snail. So I eat dip in there. Okay. All right. That's um, not quite sure what to think about that. It's like an earthy uh, muscle, basically. I'm not sure I'm going to finish all of that. We just take one, stick this little pick thingy in there. And this is what we're working with. And then we dip it in our chili garlic sauce. And have a bite. Man. The French really left an impression here, eh? I've also seen frocks around on some of the menus. There's a lot of strange things that we can dive into on our trip here around Vietnam. There's literally crisps of like little soil corns, it's like sand corns. Oh. But yeah, what I was saying, I was told the Huda is supposed to mean H and U for Hue and D A for Danmark, like how the French say it. They say Danmark, and they've obviously adopted that here in Vietnam. Calling when I tell people where I'm from, I say Danmark instead of Denmark. Supposedly, it's brewed in com in. In cooperation with Carlsberg, the Danish uh, national brewery. 
or the Danish main brewery, not national brewery. But yeah, there you have it, snails. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to think about that. My description is an earthy sand corn version of mussels. Sauge.